Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 12th. And in this video, we're going to go over the top cryptocurrency prices, as well as a little bit of analysis on Bitcoin to see where it's headed in the future. So the Bitcoin having happened 10 hours ago, and with all the hype leading up to it and the huge drop that we had right before the halving, let's find out what Bitcoin is doing today and see what it's going to do in the future. The current price of Bitcoin is actually up 1.1% at $8,737.14 in the last 24 hours. Ethereum up 0.6% at $188.89. Dash actually down 1% at $70.69. And Litecoin up 1.4% percent at $42.31. Okay, now let's jump into Bitcoin and look at the candlestick chart since the crash on March 12th. You can see here before the market crashed, it was about 10,300, 10,400. And then when the market crashed, it dropped down to the low 3000s. Obviously, that was due to the coronavirus outbreak. But since then, we have been on an upwards climb. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to this climb as it goes up. I want you to see some trends. You can see it shot up and then corrected back down because it got rejected. Then shot back up even higher, then came back down because it got rejected. It did the same thing again and again and came back down. This is the one that everybody's talking about. We had this huge climb and then everybody sold off when it hit that $10,000 mark because this is a big resistance point for Bitcoin. Now, if you look, this is what we call a bull market when things are going up. When things are going down, it's called a bear market. When the bear market is over, we see an accumulation and expansion phase followed by a subsequent bull market. And again, we are in that bear market territory. Over the next few days, we should see the accumulation and expansion phase and then another bull market. Now, looking at these charts, I am very optimistic about what the price of Bitcoin is going to get to. I am not one of those to the moon people that it's going to hit $150,000 in the next six months. I'm practical. I do, however, feel that over the next week, we'll see a small fluctuation and then it will start to rise. Now, I am not a financial advisor, so make your own investments at your own risk. But I believe after we see a short fluctuation, kind of slacking down, going up a little bit, we should see a nice climb just below 12,000. Once it hits like, I'm thinking maybe 11,800, then it should drop back down to 10,000 and then a subsequent climb. We're going to see larger gaps and larger deviations as we go up. And as long as there's no crisis like viruses or the financial system collapsing or something other than what's going on right now in the market, as long as all these factors stay the same, we should still see an upwards climb over the next four to six months. And as always, I highly believe in the fact that Bitcoin is going to be the currency we use maybe 10, 15, 20 years in the future, the more people adopt Bitcoin, the more people use it around the globe, because currently we're only at 5% of the population using cryptocurrencies. As that number grows to 40, 50, 60% of the population with more demand and less supply, Bitcoin will inherently become more valuable. So if you're holding it for the long term, in about 20 years, you should have a very healthy Bitcoin wallet. But if you are a day trader, definitely learn your charts, learn your statistics, learn the history of Bitcoin, and make your own decisions on where you think it's going to go. And that's it for the crypto price and analysis video. Don't forget to like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share this video with your friends and family. Join us later today when we go over the top news articles written in the last 24 hours so we can stay up to date on everything going around in the cryptocurrency world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later today.